Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be talking about selling at $2,800 per shares, shorts preparing for liquidation, how they're trying to fix their positions, and many more in this video. First, we're taking a look at this. If AMC jumped to $2,830 per share today, you know what I will do. I'll buy more AMC shares because $283 per share pre-reverse split is no squeeze. So there is no difference today whether it's $283 or $2,830 per share. Either way, I'm buying and holding. Now, I'm curious to what you guys think about this and what you guys will do with your AMC shares when it goes to this price. The reason why I say this is because firstly, we understand that we have an extremely strong foundation base and again, we know that retailers aren't easily going to be selling their shares. So again, if the share price were to jump to $2,800 and people decide not to sell and the most majority is still in this play, then that means the share price can obviously go higher. But a more important reason for why I'm saying this is because of what we're going to be talking about, which is firstly taking a look at this. The Fixed Income Clearing Corporation has made changes to its rules in the past regarding the calculation of value at risk. And there's the VAR charge is the designed to cover FICC's projected liquidation losses with respect to a defaulted member's portfolio at a 99% confidence level. So this is the one of the many things in this video which we'll be discussing to show the weakness in the short positions right now and why again understanding that we have the ability to obviously choose the price in which we sell towards these short sellers. So first thing what we have right now is understanding that coming in at Monday April 15 to 2024 FICC will begin to collect a special charge from GSD netting members on the two days prior to and on the day of the following market event if certain conditions are met and this is what's happening now what's interesting about this is because of the recent changes that is obviously happening firstly the FICC who recently took Credit Suisse as one of their counterparties as one of their participating members within the organization and again now they're starting to take a charge and for the reasons of covering their projected liquidation losses with respect to defaulted members um, portfolio and so what we're seeing right now is first FICC showing the fact that again they need capital they need Need ways of limiting firms to not liquidate their positions but furthermore this isn't the only thing that we're looking at recently we've seen how we've seen news in terms of US government saying that they are prepared at any moment if a Wall Street bank were to fail. And we're seeing how, again, we're seeing changes to margins. We're seeing more limitations to margin requirements. We're seeing more limitations to um, the liquidity of different firms, different institutions. And all of these right now are starting to look like they are preparing for a event which is going to lead to mass liquidation, lead to mass default of what's happening. And again, especially coincidental to know that the FICC has implemented this after they just took in Credit Suisse as one of their counterparties, knowing again, Credit Suisse is a firm who is holding on to extremely toxic swaps, which led them to bankruptcy. And again, how UBS, who then took them under, are now also in the position of a bank that's starting to be um, looking to like they're going to be failing and we've seen this in the past news as well so we have many news right now which are leading to the fact that we are seeing weaknesses in short sellers in institutions in financial firms and they're all trying to protect themselves or are trying to prevent from themselves to being liquidated especially in today's current market and especially to protect what i think is the key word the volatility and volatile market events and now volatile market events could obviously mean a lot of things but understanding that if aim squeeze were to happen that will be an extremely volatile event and that is potentially what they're protecting themselves against furthermore another thing that is pushing the shorts back and again limiting these shorts is take a look at this yesterday i noticed gamestop edgar activities up 400 percent over april 2023 today i checked into why hundreds of backdated filings and you can see what bigham's replied to this with I'm getting tons of people asking me about this. My guess is cat system is coming live and they need to rebalance it out before they can't hide anything anymore. And you can see the further to go on to say, now you see why they have been fighting the cat system so hard. Once live, the SEC has no more excuse. They get full tracking data of all trades while venue ID attached, 
broker ID and customer ID, the fact that SEC didn't know who bought what stock when is insane. So we've talked about the CAT system on this channel for a very long time. Essentially what it does is that it tracks the position um, from when it first opened to when it closes and it has every single bit of detail. And this is supposed to bring transparency to the market. And now what we're seeing is how short sellers are trying to hide what they've done in the past right now by again, reporting these data now trying to again hundreds of backdated filings and they're, so they're trying to cover it up now before the cat system is fully released and exposes them of what's happening now firstly when we take a look at this bigger said now you see why they've been fighting the cat system so hard well first of all, we have to actually understand one of the firms who are fighting the cat system and is at the forefront and very against it is citadel and citadel again understand is one of the short sellers of amc so what we have right now again along with what we talked about preparing for liquidations is also the short sellers of amc are seeing the system being implemented which will expose all of their positions and so understand this right now the reason why they're fighting so hard is because firstly they know that they've done so many things in the past and they either a need to do things like this to cover it up or to stop and prevent the cat system from being implemented so that they don't have to do it and again when the cat system is implemented all it will does is expose these short sellers and that's when actions will be taken when we understand truly how manipulated how corrupt the system was for them to manipulate suppress create synthetics naked short amc when all of these get exposed that's when we'll know exactly what's up and that's when we can attack these short sellers and again it's the fact what we talked about we have data we have um events coming like this that we understand that amc is in extremely good position right now furthermore what you can see is this amc entertainment stock currently has an rsi of 7.67 indicating oversold conditions now what's interesting about this is if we take a look at this from here from date we talked about nyse order imbalance amc shares on buy side so what we're seeing right now is an order imbalance for amc on buy side meaning there was more buys than there were Sells. Now, this isn't the only day. If you go through the data, you will actually see that the majority of the days we're seeing all the imbalance for AMC actually on the buy side. So now when we go back to this and see that AMC has RSI of 7.67, what does this mean? Well, firstly, it shows that it's extremely oversold and understand that again it isn't done from people selling but rather from the shorting and also from the fact that they are hiding the buy pressure remember when a buy order goes through for amc what's likely to happen is market makers actually route these orders into the dark pool and not on the lit exchange and what that does is whilst the buys are go through you still get your piece of shares what it doesn't do is actually then affect the market price because the volume the pressure doesn't actually get applied towards the market and that's why we're seeing despite the fact that amc has um in all the time buy order imbalances meaning that all the time we're seeing buyers of amc coming in and coming in and coming in we're actually seeing an oversold position because that's what they're trying to do the very fact that they're trying to do this makes you understand that they are trying to keep amc at an extremely low price because again understand this we talked about it yesterday as well if they're shorting and they are creating new short positions at this price 265 if we go back to what we talked about here even if it goes to 2830 even if it goes to um, uh, 283 it will still be a massive loss for these firms and that's why they're trying to prevent that that's why even when you see a uh, buy order imbalance for amc you're actually still seeing it being oversold but also understand that when it's in the oversold condition it means that there's still a lot more opportunity for obviously amc to rise and when they can't hold this and and because of the fact they're suppressing so much buy pressure when all of these gets factored in when all of these filter in for amc and again the cat system also exposes this then that's when the amc price will obviously see the light of day and that's what the short scalers are scared of that's why they're fighting against the cat system furthermore you guys can see this the reverse repo at 400 billion dollars so we're seeing the reverse repo actually still continuously dropping and that itself and is an extremely good thing for us because we've just talked about how again FICC 
potentially doesn't have enough money right now to again help cover all of the projected liquidations that's why they're taking the charge and understand that the short sellers who rely on the reverse repo who rely on these easy loans of capital are also starting to see their capital decrease so whether it's the FICC whether it's the reverse repo what we're seeing is right now a difficulty in actually gaining liquidity gaining capital from these um, extreme factors and that itself is an understanding that shorts are getting limited that shorts are scared of what's going on and it's the very fact that they understand that they don't have easy access to liquidity anymore they are trying to prevent AMC from going up by hiding buy volume and they're trying to fight back against the cat system so that they don't get exposed so that they can continuously do what they have been doing and hide all the corruptness hide all the crime they've done um, without us being seen but what we will get is transparency as always none of this is ever financial advisor do take advice of your own so make sure you do your own due diligence and research i'll catch you guys next time